Welcome everyone to today's video. If you are a recurring viewer, you may remember our AMD Ryzen build here. A nice mini ITX. As I mentioned in the earlier video, due to our work with Apple Macs so the last decade here for our Mac software and such, although we obviously were still using them with Linux and such, for our mostly embedded Linux work and such, I don't have stock of PCIe graphic cards just yet. As we advance here with our YouTube channel, we will for sure also get new PCIe graphic cards. But the problem was, so this adapter was even working and I was surprised that totally vintage 20 year old like this S3 Trio from the other video was posting in here. The problem was only that there was not so much space. And anyway, I had sometimes the problem that I in general didn't have enough space or did not want to shuffle cards around if the cards were longer and plenty of other valid reasons. And I did not know this is a thing or even existed. So this is a PCIe extender thing. And I'm really surprised this works. I thought the latencies and signal tolerances of this totally high speed serial bus interconnect were totally not allowing such kind of long latency and signal degrading connection. So of course I had to go ahead and order one of these and try this out. Beside tinkering, embedded, testing, whatsoever reasons here on my side, you could also use it to build cool cases where you have the graphic card very far away or even for testing. As you see my last videos, the desk here is often quite full with bare logic boards and with this you could have this further away and some card you're working with closer, things like that. So of course for this first test we will combine it here with this PCIe PCI bridge that plugs in like that. By the way, I'm not even sure, did I plug in this additional power the last time? Maybe I did. I'm not sure if this additional power is always needed and I'm not so sure if this additional power is always needed. Maybe this is only needed if you plug in the power hungry cards, maybe. That is the power plug thing for this, although um, actually it doesn't look that power supplying this not as thick wires. Anyway, let's plug this together and coming from the Mac, unless I take the current graphic card out of the Mac Pro, which is also some, what was it, probably Nvidia, I guess. Otherwise I only have here currently on the shelf one of the last upgrades for the PowerPC G5. And this is the original card. As I said, in the meantime I upgraded this slightly. First I got this one from eBay in America. But that was too loud for my regular use and then I got the 6600 without LE or something. I think that was at least twice as fast. So for the first test, not to destroy the Verge that I just got from eBay. And I only have one for this acceleration code from the last days. Let's use here this... Oh, just a power cable. Let's plug in here this Matrox Millennium 2. And should we already plug in power or well, we have it here so maybe we plug it in already. So I guess time to plug it in and power it up. VGA. The only problem of this loose on the desk wiring is of course we shouldn't move it too much and it should not fall off the table. And Let's try this power. So I guess that is a moment to turn it on and either release magic smoke or not. So no signal. So does it want this power or does it simply not work? So there's more power connected. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Not the greatest success. Yet. I think the last time I used this trio, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, did I? Did I not? Was it a smaller one? Do you know that I see that sync? Last time I used the smaller cards in this. Okay, let me look for a smaller card. Maybe I should watch my own video, what I installed the last time. 
Zum ADI. CDF Poster. Das wird ein Video Signal. So that card works. So was apparently the Matrox card. Because we have indeed post here. But that is an interesting setup. And I'm not faking this. That is what is really in there. And let's see, do we have the graphic driver? Hey, we have the graphic driver installed for that one. Although the resolution is a little bit underwhelming. What driver is it now? That is, of course, a interesting. What frame buffer are we running? Okay, this is only AFI. Why is this not picking up the ATI? Hmm. And which driver are we running? We are running actually FBDEV, that explains why it can't switch resolution. I think I should probably have a ATI driver, but anyway, maybe we play with drivers another day. I only wanted to test today if that works. And yeah, maybe we plug in the cooler cards. Let's test a new Matrox 450 USD VI. As we prefer digital connections here. So, plugged in. Let's turn it on. So the question is, does this not post with any PC card? Or is it this fragile connector thing? Actually, just when I wanted to switch it off, I got a signal. So, but this video mode also looks smallish. Maybe this backward compatibility only brings it up in this totally standard VGA mode. Who knew that you can run VGA card like this? But actually now my video signal disappeared. Maybe the kernel driver tried to take over? I guess not many people try this old vintage card or modern EFI PCs. Of course, as I said in the earlier video, the PCI bridge thing is more useful for specialized cards like audio cards and such. But this longer distance PCIe extension cable thing, they even advertise this for crypto mining. Not that I want to recommend crypto mining, but apparently when you have eight graphic cards to spread them into some rack or cooling shelf something. Yeah, or build a pretty case where you have the graphic card more separated from your main logic board. But that's it for playing with this today. We may continue to pursue this with trying to getting the s -drive Verge driver to run on AMD64 or something or other tinkering. Now you see I pressed the control alt something and now we have graphic again so I guess this graphic disappeared as soon as the Linux kernel driver tried to do something with it and did not expect an AFI bias or something. Actually, this is a higher resolution, surprisingly. Maybe it's not always using the standard VGA mode then. I hope you learned something and enjoyed the video enough to share, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon for the next tempering to come. Yeah, I think this looks sharper than on this. This is by the way, which resolution is this now? Is this hit another resolution? No, it's 1024. I think this definitely looks sharper than standard VGA that we got from some S3 card. Maybe the difference is Visa BIOS. 2 and Visa BIOS 1.2 extension and this offering this linear modes that we talked about shortly in this previous video. So, but that's it for today and I hope to see you soon for the next videos to come.